This could be the video that changes your life. My name is Danielle Jeffers. I'm the founder of Doe 4 Degrees LLC. Doe 4 Degrees is a scholarship coaching company where we teach students how to earn scholarships to go to college and graduate debt free. I graduated debt free from Virginia Tech in May of this year, 2019, having earned more than $200,000 in scholarships. And while I was going through my scholarship process and before I graduated, and even since graduating, it's about, been about six months since I graduated, I've learned a lot of lessons that have shaped the way I think, the way I move, and the way I experience life. Today, I want to teach you why you should have generational mindsets over generational wealth. When we go through this example and this scenario, I want you to keep this question in mind. Who will beat the system? Who will beat the system? Now, what is the system? The system is the, is the traditional American system most people go through. And I'm not trying to throw dirt on anyone. I'm just asking you to think bigger and question life as you know it today. Ask questions about what you go through and why you make certain decisions. So for instance, in America, most people go to school from zero to 18, they graduate from high school, and a lot of people tend to go to college. While they're in college, they, most Americans, graduate with a lot of debt, sometimes 30, 40, 50, even higher amounts of student loan debt. And they spend the rest of their lives from 22 until about 65 paying off that debt or attempting to pay off that debt while working for someone else, trying to pay their bills, and sometimes not even being able to make ends meet. And let's forbid, God forbid, they are not able to make a payment in regards to their student loans, or they're not able to make a series of payment and they go into default and forbearance. The interest rates on their student loans skyrocket, which means they owe more money. And so they may be stressed, underpaid, overworked, and they're spending their life not the way they thought they would be able to spend it when they were a kid. Living their American dream, quote unquote, having a white picket fence, traveling, doing all these fantastic things. Well. If you're 18 and 22 and you're watching this video, you're currently in college, you're getting ready to go to college, this is one lesson I learned that changed everything for me. That is the traditional American system. Debt, getting what you want, spurging, up, spurging on what you want, enjoying instant gratification and not thinking long term. I asked you to think long term. I graduated debt free, so I beat the system, quote unquote, in terms of the system where I go to college, take out a lot of debt, work for someone else to pay off that debt or attempt to pay off that debt and try to keep my head above water. I beat that system. But how will my decisions impact my children? This is where generational mindsets come in. So in a generational mindset mentality or way of thinking, you as the adult, this is you. Let me write that above. This is you. This is your child. Okay? Same thing over here. This is you. This is your child. You, in a generational mindset mentality, will give your child the keys to success, intellectual property, work ethic. Now, what is intellectual property? Those who go to college, you are tapping into intellectual property. You're going to someone else to teach you how to do something in a certain particular field or industry or what have you, so that you can go do that and pursue your dreams or your um, desired endeavors. That is what you're going. You're going to obtain IP. Now, if you have your own IP, whether it's making a certain type of cake a certain way or teaching students how to graduate debt free, or designing shoes, what have you, that is something you can pass on to someone else because it's something, this education, this knowledge that can be passed from generation to generation. It's something you can sell and create your own business out of. So if you, in a generational mindset mentality, are passing that on to your kids and you're teaching them the work ethic they'll need to succeed, that is something they can take and develop their own wealth and pass down from generation to generation, create their own streams of income. All right, now let's look at generational wealth. If you're just focused on passing down, let's say a million dollars in some property, some real estate to your kids, they look at it, they get it, they're like, oh, okay, I can buy clothes, cars, what have you, but they never have the mindset to sustain it and even to multiply what you've given them, then they'll squander it. So I'm not telling you not to focus on being able to pass down tangible assets like money and property, but if you're going to pass down anything to your children, make sure you pass down a mindset that will equip them to succeed. Make sure you taught them how to make some of the smart decisions that you made. And so in terms of how does this impact students who want to go to college? If you're going to college and you plan on taking out student loans, you are stepping into an arena where you won't necessarily be able to pass down generational wealth in your early 20s or be able to be in a position to think about it that way. 
Time is one thing we can't control. It's one thing we can't get any more of, and it's one thing we can't guarantee. So the quicker you think with a generational mindset, how will my decisions today impact my lineage? How will my decisions today free me during the rest of my life, give me the financial freedom to do what I wanna do, but also help me teach the generations coming after me how they can live a similar life, uh, have a similar lifestyle. How will my decisions today impact my grandchildren? When you just think about that, and you consider it, consider that before you make a move, it may lead to you being able to pass down generational mindsets. Once again, I ask you, who will beat the system? Will the person, will the family that passes down money and property to their child beat the system by just giving them the money? Okay, they go to college and graduate debt free. Now, what if they're still living paycheck to paycheck? What do they pass down to their children? Do they pass down the mindset of go to college and get a job? Um, go to college, graduate, get a job, and they tell their children and their grandchildren, do the same thing? Or do, will the person who beats the system, will it be the person who has a generational mindset, who obtains a certain level of intellectual property and work ethic, and they pass, they pass that down to the next generation, and the generation after that, and they teach them how to go get it on their own and live the life they want to live on their own terms and not be subject to someone else. These are just two different ways of looking at life. I'm not telling you that you need to be, to be a business owner to succeed. I'm not telling you that you need to um, make certain decisions in order to live a prosperous and wonderful life. I'm just asking you to think about, will you be able to pass down a generational mindset or generational wealth or both at the end of your life? That's it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love to have the discussion and conversation. Once again, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just asking you to think about things a little bit deeper before you make certain decisions. Have a great day.